In this guide, we will be going over performance tweaks to get the most out of every Android emulator. We will focus on using Nox in this video, but you can also apply the optimization in other emulators such as Bluestacks and LD Player. So a quick background for Nox Player. Nox Player is one of the most popular Android emulators for PC. It is fast, stable, developed with Android gamers in mind. Unfortunately, no emulator is flawless, and while Nox Player can be very stable and efficient, there are numbers of things to do to make it work much better when playing your favorite Android games on PC. And why I picked Nox is because this is the official emulator for Ragnarok M Eternal Love. So first of all, make sure you have the latest Nox or whatever Android emulator you are using. So alright, here's the thing about emulation. It is especially CPU and RAM dependent. Video RAM not so much. Modern smartphones are being equipped with octa-core CPUs and between 4 to 6 gig of RAM on average. And while personal computers can be much more powerful, you need to give a little headroom for the extra processing of emulation in itself. So back to Ragnarok M Eternal Love Episode 6, after the update, the emulator lags and stutters during gameplay as you can see in the video. So I made a few tweaks in order to solve the problem. So before we start this, this is the setup I am using. So latest Nox version 6.3.1.0, Android 4.4.2. I am lazy to recopy my game to a newer Android version but I recommend use the Android 5 or 7 for this optimization or just completely copy mine. My computer setup is CPU Ryzen 2600X, 32 gigs of RAM, and my GPU is RX 580, 8 gig of VRAM. Okay, so fire up your emulator and go to settings. In Nox, go into Nox Player System Settings, Advanced Settings, Performance Settings. For single instance or single Nox app only, click the custom tab and adjust the CPU and memory to what your PC is capable of. So typically, you want to allocate at least half of your computer's CPU and RAM resources to Nox player. So for CPU cores and 4 gigs of RAM allocated to a single Nox player should be good enough if you have at least 8 gig of ram and close all other programs while running nox player to lessen the resource consumption in your computer for multiple instance users example this 2 to 4 nox opened at the same time or other emulators try to use the list or distribute the cpu cores and ram and make sure to close everything aside from Nox again to lessen the resource consumption. This one is basically trial and error because our computers have deep, different specs and the games we play might need higher or lower resources. But for the game we are featuring Ragnarok M Eternal Love, here is the settings for multiple instance users. 
if you are on low end setup please make sure to number one is turn off the sound in NOx settings because it will lessen the CPU consumption the number two is choose 720p or 540p resolution if you are just grinding AFK so number three frame settings to 20 to 30 FPS actually 20 FPS is playable if you are just grinding AFK you can do that number four is use one to two cores of CPU so for the Ragnarok mobile episode 6 two cores is recommended so number five is 1.5 gig to 2 gigs of RAMs each instance so in my setup I just use 1.5 gigs of RAM for each instance and two cores so in the past in episode 4 we just use one core then two gig of RAMs yep but in here it's different next is the graphics rendering mode on how to decide which is better speed direct X or OpenGL plus so DirectX mode should be faster, especially if you are using an AMD processor instead of Intel, but it uses more RAM than OpenGL. So if you are using Intel processor, use the OpenGL mode. Here is an example of AMD processor using OpenGL mode versus AMD processor using SpeedDirectX. And sometimes this is the only reason why you are lagging in your emulator which is not picking the right graphics rendering mode for your system and here is a video of multiple instance versus the old settings so if the guide helped you please consider liking the video and making a comment and if you are not subscribed yet please do subscribe or else I'll snap you out of existence <laughs> Okay, that's it.